the first time in more than a decade, Spain looks set to become a socialist country. For some, it's the change they've been waiting for. It's hopeful for me. I think it's a good result, and sincerely, I didn't expect it. I thought the right wing was going to win. So it's cool for me. For others, disappointment. I think the left would be the worst thing that can happen to Spain right now. Pedro Sanchez, the leader of the Spanish Socialist Workers' Party, focused much of his campaign on keeping the right out of government. And that's exactly what he did. We made it happen. The Socialist Party has won the general election, and with that the future has won, and the past has lost. His party gained more seats than it had hoped for and will now have to deliver on promises of social justice, national harmony and political transparency. His task now is to persuade other parties to join him in a coalition. Sanchez now has three weeks to form a government. It's likely he'll turn to the other major left-wing party, Unidas Podemos, for support, but it's unlikely he'll bring Catalan separatist MPs on board. The other winner of the night was the far-right party, Vox. The newcomer's success was built on a nationalist agenda. But analysts say it may not have as much influence as it had hoped. What are we to expect from Vox in Parliament? It's unknown. Their position is difficult. With 10% of votes, it is difficult to survive in this system of parties. The biggest loser was the Conservative Popular Party, which suffered the worst losses in its history. Its hopes of forming a right-wing coalition crushed. A record 75% of the electorate cast their votes on Sunday, a bid perhaps to put an end to years of political uncertainty in Spain. Shamim Chowdhury, TRT World, Madrid.